how do you my noble friends sir kaka babu welcomes you and uh, it has been a very very long time since i last uploaded any video well i just took a long break and forgot about video making but don't worry i am uh, now back and we would be uploading uh, regular videos so i would urge you to uh, rate this video so that you know youtube algorithms start picking it up and uh, start noticing activity being done on the channel anyways so last time i left my campaign uh, the mogul empire campaign in the middle and uh, that was a travesty in order to correct it one should do an empire total war campaign that's what that's what i was thinking right so i've already done uh, the mogul empire campaign somewhat so why don't we pick a different campaign which would be as much as uh, as much fun as the mogul one or even more right so this time i've not only installed darth mod for the first time i might add i've also installed the all factions mod in it right and what should we play as hmm do you guys have any ideas of course you do because you have seen the title and clicked on it so you already know which one i picked anyways without further rambling let's select dagestan it is going to be one heck of campaign because our difficulty levels are uh, insurmountable really we start off with one region and it is going to be an uphill battle from the cat go we would be dominating the world and uh, uh, as the poet said kicking ass and taking names now i've set the difficulty to very hard very hard hmm, well actually i'm going to lower it one bit because uh, the campaign is going to be uh, hard as it is and i don't want the ai especially britain i'm looking at you to behave uh, uh, unreasonably right so let's start it partners all right so uh, at the start of the campaign we find ourselves covered with fog of war now if any of you uh, virgins out there are in a similar position and thinking what the hell i can't even select my army or faction how am i supposed to play then don't worry select list and select your army okay and uh, just move it out and now you've got uh, control over all of your faction and everything is hunky dory right now as dagestan we are weak meager insignificant uh, our first uh, objective is to make a place for ourselves and gain access to the sea now it is imperative to obliterate georgia sorry georgia you have to go i mean there is no place in the world uh, for you unfortunately now the problem with that is georgia is a protectorate of russia now ideally i would declare war on georgia obliterate them and uh, then make peace with russia if uh, i'm allowed to do so right let's see oh, come on keyboard all right our objective is to obliterate co and conquer georgia and then see what's what uh, i ideally um, ottoman and persians would stand idly by and let us do our own thing but well whatever let's see how it goes okay let's save the game dagestan campaign all right partner let's begin this journey first things first let's take care of our government now 
government and taking care of it is really important and uh, let's see what's what our prime minister the head of the government is a good player a good person and i think he should be in charge of the army so let's place him there and uh, finance guy oh wow he sucks hmm he's frugal too i think i would place this guy on the head and now uh, we are getting great bonuses and we need a good finance guy so let's place this dude over here right and navy okay this could have been uh, a good finance guy as well i don't know let's see all right good 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 all right my friends government is in good hands and our leader is army enthusiast and uh, we are getting oh look at his age he is one old dude damn man i guess he'll be dying in the next turn but we'll see anyways policies uh, we are uh, at normal tax levels so let's decrease it so that we start getting more growth in our town which is already meager right let's uh, start developing it and uh, i would really want to change this settlement into a university to get our uh, technology going but that would come later right for now let's place our army there and uh, let's start recruiting except all the money i had i spent on uh, we don't need any roads over here at the moment oh my god we suck so poor hang on let's start some trade as well uh, russia yep seriously need your help my friend we are already trading with georgia okay he is they are friendly with us and we can also start our trade with persia 650 that is going to hurt us but whatever okay now we are in a good position right and i think the the fact that we are at war with barbary states is uh, decreasing our relations with ottoman empire as well and uh, we don't really want to be an enemy of the ottoman empire just yet so let's see if we can uh, make peace with them nope but no matter uh we would make peace with them uh, in the coming turns all right i think we have done all we could and let's end the turn and see what's what all right then our path is blocked and all right friends let me tell you about my initial planning i don't want to be at war or an enemy of russia so that our northern flank is secured right once we take out georgia my plan is to get persia on my side and then go against the ottomans either we can do that or we can uh, be friends with ottomans and go against persians and basically uproot persians and take over their place and start uh, our situation from there so we'll have to see really however i see here that uh, we are in a late campaign and ottomans are really weak so if we can uproot ottomans and take make persians on our side and make an alliance with them that would be really beneficial 
but uh, that is in the future i would just i was just trying to give you an overall outline of what my plans are right now i want to increase the this thing to my military governor's barracks i also want to recruit forces what would it give me would it give me hmm okay ah so expensive so five turns right uh okay militia dragoons we've got access to western units so that is good okay let's make three of them and uh, war between poland and russia war between poland and austria okay once we declare war on georgia and take over uh, take them over then we'll be able to uh, we'll try to make peace with russia right before that it's not really useful uh, for now we're just creating buildings and uh, basically getting ready to make war so i would skip a few turns uh, when i have uh, so that i have created units and make some made some progress and then uh, would come back to you guys all right partners our preparations are complete i have assembled this very good army even though it is a green one it doesn't even have much experience because it's a new one well we have assembled as much as we could uh, three more units were being recruited but uh, i cancelled them you know why look at our income uh, if i uh, rec had recruited them uh, we would have gone into the negative so we can't recruit anymore uh, even if i increase my taxes a bit it only amounts to 390 right so we are pushing the limit now we have to attack georgia and conquer it and then we'll see if we are able to make peace with russia or not right it is uh, as best as we could do and also by the way we have uh, made an alliance with persia so hopefully they wouldn't be attacking us and uh, i wouldn't call them into a war with us and let's see how it goes game is saved and uh, this is going to be the first of many attacks on many nations so here we go charge declare war their allies are russia i'm not going to call mine trade agreement cancelled with russia and let's go oh man this is not good the only trade partner we had was russia besides prussia uh, persia and uh, two of our trade agreements are done what should i do should we attack uh, right away or wait for uh, the siege let's attack oh auto resolve came through my friends and now we have georgia great look at that look at that you have to stabilize it right away and uh, oh university destroy it pro tip for any of you green ones out there if you conquer a new land even if you want that you to use that college you cannot because it just creates so much unrest so destroy it and make a religious building in our case mosque in place of it so that this area is converted to our religion once after many many turns it is stabilized then you can do whatever you want so for now we'll destroy this college school whatever and uh, move on swiftly look at that partners now we've got georgia 
and uh, we've got access to our port as well and we are producing this fur as well and it was just a fantastic thing we did now what about russia can we oh <laughs> my friends yes <laughs> that is all we wanted we've got trade agreement with them and we are at peace with them that is fantastic now what i'm worried about is britain declaring war on us so let's see if we can make trade agreement and alliance oh my god jelly hands i threatened them now we're doomed <laughs> <laughs> didn't mean to threaten them come on, on. wow <laughs> no oh well how about uh, how about we present state gift okay what this this is stupid fine indifferent mm we need a trade partner in the form of ottoman empire well if we make trade with the ottomans okay what are they at who are they at war russia and morocco and they've got no allies mm. guys i think we are going to go at war uh, go to war with the ottomans next and uh, let's make alliance with russia okay whatever they want i'll give nope okay i guess they don't want it okay we can make with maratha confederacy mm. okay marathas can be a stable trade partner because they are owning the this indian region and uh, they are going to become really strong and big so i think let's make it eventually we might be uh, in the late game we would be going against them and uh, putting them out of their misery but for now let's make a trade agreement with them and uh, the only other guy which we can trade with is the ottomans so let's see do you want to trade my friends all right so look at that partners our income has gone up from minus 1300 to 4282 in the same turn right so that is a fantastic first engagement we did and that is just awesome now let's increase uh, upgrade this port and uh, oh it is going to cost us dearly to repair let's end the turn my friends and uh, see what's what oh no partners disaster Ottoman Empire has declared war upon us and uh, well actually we can withstand their assault I hope uh, but I am going to call Persia with us and they graciously accept it so now we are at war with the Ottoman Empire and we are just holding on to our dear life for now and they are rioting as well not good don't do it we'll have to repair it and end turn
alright Ottomans you scum bring it on not really though because I'm not really in a shape to take all of you on at this moment <laughs> Okay, by the way, I have turned the uh, AI uh, turns and AI moves off so that we don't really waste time. There are a lot of factions and they do take up so much of our time that cannot be described. Oh wow, now that is going to hurt us friends because uh, they have destroyed our port which means our trade is not happening at all and now we are bankrupt ah okay shit 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 okay let's first take care of georgian rebellion All right, and then we can end the turn and see what happens. All right, welcome back, partners. Things are not really looking up at the moment. We've got a rebellion at our hands. Uh, however, uh, things are stable as long as we stay in uh, inside our settlement. However we can't really stay inside ottoman army is attacking us and this is creating a lot of problems for us so let us uh, attack them and see if we can obliterate uh, them as much as we can and then return to defend against this small force and hope that this force of theirs does not attack us right so that is my plan otherwise uh, if I repair this port which is vital for our survival this force is going to go again and destroy it so this is the battle for our survival so let's go partners all right I think uh, the our the odds are in our favor let's see if we can okay no limit and let's uh, jump into the battlefield partners all right partners deployment is done i have deployed dragoons over here on this flank cavalry over here line at the front and artillery at the front as well so let's see what's what and let's start the battle let's uh, increase uh, make our infantry move a bit Let's uh, instruct our artillery to use caress shot over here. Okay. Uh, what is this? Uh, General's bodyguard. Oh, if we can uh, kill their general with our cavalry that would be a huge win for us I think so let's see oh what is this Janissaries oh yes my friends kill them oh no this is not good they are melee units they are wavering and let's continue firing and
where is their general bodyguard where is it let's attack them Dragoons, where are you? Okay. All right. Channel's bodyguard over here. Oh no. Shameful display. Line infantry wavered. This is not good. These are uh, these. Okay, enemy is wavering too. Move, 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 move. Dragoons, you guys go there. Let's go over here. Uh, artillery, you guys fire over here. Move. Oh, come on, move. What is a line infantry wavering? Our general is getting engaged as well. Okay, enemy general is killed. That is, that is fantastic. Dragoons, you get here, and you get over here. Okay, this is nice. Okay, it was all over the place, this fight, my friends. But, we pulled through in the end. Our, uh, okay, our, our dragoons are... Okay, okay, okay. General, get in there! Okay, cavalry, you get over there. What is this? Azaz. Well, let's kill them. Our general is engaging the enemy somewhere. And uh, all right, let's uh, disentangle them. Alrighty then partners we have almost won it and uh, by the way I played this game you guys would have uh, discerned that why I don't play battles <laughs> not really <laughs> good at it <laughs> anyways I'm going to mop this up and then see you on the campaign map okay 
all right partners it was a great victory for us uh, let's see our battle statistics our line infantry uh, got most of the kills but then regiment of horse killed as well and uh, all right it was a good one